Hi dears, this is Raji. In this video, we are going to discuss about cross aldol condensation reaction. In the previous video, we were discussing about self aldol condensation reaction, how to predict the product of the reaction even without writing the entire mechanism. To understand cross aldol condensation better, you can just go through that once. Okay. Now we are going to see cross aldol condensation reaction. What will be the product of the reaction when two molecules having alpha hydrogen are reacting together in presence of a base? Also, we need to learn what will be the product of the reaction when one molecule is with alpha hydrogen and another molecule is without alpha hydrogen. See this one. We are going to write the product of the reaction between acetaldehyde and acetone. Both the molecules are having alpha hydrogen atom with it. Remember, you will be getting four products for this reaction. So, first product we are going to write now. Now, how to write the product of the reaction? Using the same method as we have discussed in self aldol condensation. Write it. So, you write acetaldehyde first. When you are writing the second molecule, yeah, we will be writing that alpha hydrogen facing the carbonyl group. Then C double bond O CH3 will be there. Okay. In presence of an alkali, what will be the reaction? You can break this carbon oxygen double bond. Hydrogen will be coming and attaching with oxygen and you can join these two carbon atoms. Write the product of the reaction. You will be getting CH3 CHOH. Okay. Yeah. To that, yeah, this CH2 group, in order to understand, I am writing as CHH. To that, C double bond O also, CH3 also is attached. If you are heating this product in presence of some dilute acid, what will happen? Yeah, one molecule of water will be eliminated and the product of the reaction will be CH3, CH double bond CH, C double bond O, CH3. Correct? Okay. We got one product of the reaction. In this case, alpha hydrogen is attacking carbonyl oxygen of aldehyde. Now, what is the other possibility? Alpha hydrogen of aldehyde can attack acetone. Right? Yeah. Now, write acetone first. CH3, C double bond O, CH3. We will write like this. Yeah. How to write the alpha hydrogen of aldehyde facing this carbonyl group? Okay. CH2, C double bond O, H. Right? Now, break the bond between carbon and oxygen. Attach hydrogen to this oxygen. Then join these two carbon atoms together. What will be the product of the reaction in presence of a dilute alkali? You will be getting CH3, C, CH3. Okay. And this double bond O will become OH. To that, yeah, the CH2 group is attached. To understand, I am writing it as CHH. To that C double bond O and then yeah, hydrogen also is attached. If you are heating the same compound in presence of uh, some dilute acid okay, and we are heating it then what will happen? Yeah, this molecule of water will be eliminated and you will be getting CH3 C CH3 double bond CH C double bond O H. This will be the product of the reaction. Okay. Alpha, beta, unsaturated aldehyde you will be getting. In this case, you are getting alpha, beta, unsaturated ketone. In addition to that, you will be getting two more products. How it is possible? That is, yeah, acetaldehyde can undergo self-aldol condensation. Acetone also will be undergoing self-aldol condensation. So, from that also, you will be getting two products. Okay. In the previous video of self aldol condensation reaction, we have written what will be the product of the reaction when acetaldehyde is undergoing self aldol condensation. This will be the final product you got, right? Yeah. What about acetone? If it is undergoing self aldol condensation, yeah, we will be getting this product. We have written that already. So, remember whenever two carbonyl compounds having alpha hydrogen atom that also different compounds 
are undergoing aldol condensation reaction you will be getting four products two will be cross aldol condensation products and the other two will be self aldol condensation product did you get it yes now we will see what will be the cross aldol condensation product when one molecule is with alpha hydrogen and another one is without alpha hydrogen let's write and see see this one this is benzaldehyde it does not have alpha hydrogen atom it's going to react with acetaldehyde which is having alpha hydrogen atom in presence of dilute alkali yeah, we will be getting alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde okay yeah the same reaction can take place in presence of a ketone having alpha hydrogen also okay for example we will write acetone with benzaldehyde that time what will be the product of the reaction okay the same reaction can happen in presence of an ester also ch3 c double bond o o ch3 okay see this is an ester having alpha hydrogen correct okay yeah this also can react with benzaldehyde so that time what will be the product obtained in all this cases you will be getting an alpha beta unsaturated product so using our shortcut mechanism we are going to predict the product of the reaction easily in all this three cases see this is a kind of aldol condensation reaction only but if one of the reactant is an aromatic aldehyde or a ketone without alpha hydrogen and the other reactants may be an aldehyde or a ketone and an ester with alpha hydrogen atom if so this reaction is known as claisen schmidt condensation reaction will you remember yes see this one benzaldehyde is going to react with the acetaldehyde so we are going to predict the product of the reaction easily for that yeah, you will have to write the benzaldehyde molecule which is not having alpha hydrogen atom right along with me c6h5 c double bond oh we will write like this to understand and then yeah, you will have to write acetaldehyde in such a way that the one that is having alpha hydrogen atom will be facing this carbonyl group okay then c double bond o yeah, h also will be there in presence of a dilute alkali what will happen you can break this carbon oxygen double bond hydrogen will be going and attach with oxygen and these two carbon atoms also you can join together you got the product of the reaction easily write it c6h5 yeah ch will be there and uh, this one double bond o will become oh group to that yeah ch2 group will be attached to understand we are writing it as chh then c double bond o will be there and h also will be there the product of the reaction that is beta hydroxy aldehyde obtained by itself undergo condensation reaction that means it will be eliminating one molecule of water and you will be getting c6h5 ch double bond ch c double bond oh yeah it has got a common name also its name is cinnamaldehyde you should remember it okay this is claisen schmidt condensation reaction got it along with that one more doubt will be coming to mind see yeah, benzaldehyde does not have alpha hydrogen but acetaldehyde can undergo self aldol condensation product also it is possible but yeah this uh, crossed aldol condensation product is found to be the predominant one or this will be the major product of the reaction okay so that is the reason we are writing only one product understood now see this one we are going to predict what will be the product of the reaction when benzaldehyde is reacting with acetone for that we are writing benzaldehyde first like this c double bond o h and the product having alpha hydrogen atom we are writing in such a way that that is facing this carbonyl carbon atom okay yeah then c double bond o will be there ch3 also will be there 
then in presence of a base what will be the reaction you can break this yeah carbon oxygen double bond yeah attach hydrogen to this oxygen and join these two carbon atom you got the product already write it c6h5 ch then yeah here double bond o will become oh and here ch2 in order to eliminate that molecule of water i am writing like this then c double bond o ch3 will be there okay the product obtained is beta hydroxy ketone right yeah this product will be having a tendency to eliminate this molecule of water okay so right what will happen one molecule of water will be eliminated and you will be getting c6h5 ch double bond ch c double bond o ch3 correct the product obtained is benzylidine acetone yeah. so remember this reaction is also known as claisen schmidt condensation reaction okay yeah but one more point you need to remember related to this particular reaction for your competitive exam they will be asking a question what will be the product of the reaction when you are taking excess benzaldehyde with acetone in presence of dilute alkali so that time there will be slight difference first product obtained will be the same only okay benzaldehyde and acetone will be reacting together to form this product but this is also having an alpha hydrogen so what will happen which in turn will again react with benzaldehyde okay as you have taken that in excess so write and see how to predict the product of the reaction first you will have to write yeah that compound which does not have alpha hydrogen atom i am writing like this as the benzaldehyde taken is in excess it will be reacting with benzylidine acetone write that also in such a way that we are facing the alpha hydrogen of the same compound okay i am writing like this to understand so that you can predict the product of the reaction easily ch double bond ch c6h5 okay yes break this carbon oxygen bond attach this uh, hydrogen to this oxygen and join these two carbon atom Yeah, you are getting the product of the reaction. What will be the product of the reaction? You will be getting C six H five C O H. It will become C H. Then this one to eliminate a molecule of water, I am writing like this. Then C double bond O C H double bond C H, and this is C six H five. Here also one benzene ring will be coming. C one molecule of water will be eliminated from this molecule, and you will be getting C six H five C H. double bond ch then c double bond o ch double bond ch c6h5 correct yeah see look at this one this one is a symmetrical ketone what's the name of this compound yeah the product obtained will be dibenzylidine acetone so you should remember this one yeah i'll show you questions related to this in the same way the claisen schmidt condensation reaction of benzaldehyde and an ester in presence of dilute alkali okay this will be the product obtained yeah how we are getting this product yeah you can try it by yourself okay yes now see the question all this questions were asked in previous years competitive exams related to the topic which we have discussed now read and find out aldol condensation will not take place in for aldol condensation reaction to take place yeah there should be alpha hydrogen in that carbonyl compound okay formaldehyde won't be having alpha hydrogen so that's the answer ec read the second one the product formed in aldol condensation is go through the options and find out we have discussed already the product that is formed as a result of aldol condensation reaction will be having an oh group at the beta position beta hydroxy aldehyde or beta hydroxy ketone will be the product obtained okay yeah so out of this which is the answer yeah third one beta hydroxy aldehyde or beta hydroxy ketone this will be the answer now see this question aldol condensation between which of the following two compounds followed by dehydration gives methyl vinyl ketone okay yeah so final product they have given from which compounds it has formed from they are asking 
So first uh, you will have to write methyl vinyl ketone. How does it look like? A keto group will be there. One side it will be having a methyl group. Other side it will be having yeah, a vinyl group. Okay that is CH2 double bond CH will be attached to that. Okay yes. Now how did we get this compound? This is an alpha beta unsaturated ketone. Okay yeah this compound is obtained by the elimination of one molecule of water right now yeah so before that it was a beta hydroxy ketone right now yeah. if you are adding one molecule of water to that the compound will be looking like this okay yeah c double bond o ch3 now we will have to find out how did we get this compound so this is the alpha hydrogen of this carbon right now yeah so we are taking it back and breaking this carbon carbon bond so this part should be a carbonyl compound in which carbon atom is having two hydrogen which is that carbonyl compound having two hydrogen atoms attached to that it will be formaldehyde and if this alpha hydrogen is going along with this carbon atom it will become yeah, ch3 c double bond o ch3 acetone so this product has formed from yeah, these two compounds so find out which is the correct option formaldehyde and acetone first one is the answer got it yes now see this question the condensation reaction between one equivalent of acetone and two equivalent of benzaldehyde in presence of dilute alkali leads to the formation of we have discussed this already this is a kind of aldol condensation but if it is benzaldehyde and a compound having alpha hydrogen atom yeah, which is that reaction yeah that is claisen schmidt condensation reaction okay yeah so if you are following our shortcut mechanism in less than one minute you can predict the product of this reaction first you will be getting benzylidine acetone which in turn will be reacting with excess of benzaldehyde to form dibenzylidine acetone we have written the mechanism also so the answer is c dibenzylidine acetone it is claisen schmidt condensation reaction easy See, we have discussed a very small topic, but these many questions you could answer. You keep on working hard. See you in the next video. 